Hi, my name is Tim Shields and I'm a photographer from Canada. This is how I got my start. When I was a kid, I was just 13 years old and I was riding my bike one day beside a camera store. I looked in through the window and I saw this beautiful camera in the window. It was used, but it was a lot of money. And I said to myself, I must have it. I wanted that camera so bad. So I saved up all of the money that I earned from my part-time job delivering pharmacy prescriptions on my bike. And finally, I had enough money to buy that camera. I went down to the camera store on my bike again, pulled out my little wad of cash, and I bought the camera. And what's really cool is I still have the camera. I keep it on my desk. It's a Minolta film camera. Obviously, it's film because this is like the 70s and no digital cameras existed. So uh, the camera still works, listen, and it takes great pictures. And what I did with it at that time is that I would take pictures of everything that I could, including this picture my friend took of me with my little pet gerbil. And I would develop the film in a homemade dark room in my parents' basement, and I would make prints there. And photography stayed with me through my teen years, through my adult years, and eventually, I became a full-time landscape photographer. So I wrote a book on photography. It's called The Photo Cookbook. And I founded a company called photographyacademy.com. And in this company, we help photographers take award-winning photos. And I received a designation, an official designation as master photographer in fine art. And that's sort of the business part of it. But the fun side of it is, that I explore the world with my wife. We go on trips everywhere and take beautiful photos of the landscapes. And that's really fun for both of us. We uh, have been to the Dolomites of Italy, the rice paddies of China, the Rocky Mountains of Canada, the sand dunes of Death Valley, California, and so many other places aside from those so I would encourage you, if you have any kind of a passion for being creative, it might be music, it might be art, and it might be photography or something else, go for it, do it. And it will probably be to you how it's been for me, like it's been like a best friend, a best friend that there were times in my life where I kind of became distant from that friend. And then other times when I became very, very close with that friend, but the friend has stayed with me through my entire life. And it has been good for me on a personal level, just in so many ways, just to be creative, to be creating my own art, art that I am proud of. And I love the exploration phase that goes along with that, that I can explore and find and seek and be curious and then create my own art out of that process. So thanks for listening and go out there, take beautiful pictures. Oh. And I almost forgot a big, big hello to Brooke Huddleston and the many a Toto area school year seven and eight. Keep taking pictures, everybody. Bye bye.